But anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the actual pièce de résistance, which is going to be this fucking nothing burger again. These are all nothing burger situations that Brendan seems to get himself involved in that he always ends up making far worse than what they actually are. So, there's this guy that Brian Callan, I guess, has now befriended and made be part of his group. I guess Brian, Brian does, again, as a long-time fan, I remember Brendan have his issue with Brian. He does have a tendency in the, he does have some sort of ability. Maybe it's the fact that he moved around a lot and he's a bit of a people pleaser and he kind of sucks up to people. I don't really know what it is, but there's something about Brian where he seems to attract like randoms. He seems to attract people who kind of are trying to make here, who are stragglers, whatever. He seems to just be a magnet for those type of people. Maybe he's just a nice guy. I don't really know what the reason is, but he seems to always have a, a new kind of person. He's sort of like quote unquote mentoring or helping out or taking on the road of it or just have some new friend. And I guess he's got this new guy whose name is, if I'm not mistaken, Nick Simmons. So a guy called Nick Simmons is a comedian and also happens to be a what part-time bodybuilder, a hobbyist bodybuilder. I'm not too sure, whatever it may be. Um, but he's a bodybuilder, but he also does comedy, which is pretty cool, right? You don't really see that too often. Um, a comedian who's kind of really serious about flipping, um, what's he call it? Comedy and also works out a bunch as well. So Brian's got him on the road with him, shares some experiences, experiences, blah, 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 blah. But the funny thing that you notice straight away when Brian speaks about this guy called Nick Simmons is that Bra Brenda doesn't react very well to it. For whatever reason, he seems to have a real stick up his butt or he seems to get very agitated and aggravated when Brian has friends that he kind of talks about in glowing terms. I'm not really sure what it is. And I, me I remember the same thing happened with Malik. When Brian was first hanging out with Malik, and I remember the f a few episodes where he like he get Malik's Instagram up on the on the screen, and Brian would be saying something about his body because you know Brian's obsessed with men men's bodies even though he's professes he's not gay, and he'd be looking at oh look how jacked he is look how work look he's working out look he's boxing whatever look how athletic he is, and Brendan would always kind of go out of his way to either not say anything and be quiet or throw some kind of you know barb his way or kind of so first some kind of backhanding compliment but it was clear that he was kind of i don't know if even jealous whatever it may be just put off by it so for some reason um brian got this nick guy to challenge brendan to do this uh to do this kind of workout thing right where he was meant to do these dumbbell presses right and it was something that I legitimately think wasn't even that big of a deal. It was just like a, a funny, innocuous little thing. I'm going to quickly pull it up here where he basically says, hey, here's this guy. I got my friend. He works out a bunch. Brendan, you obviously work out a bunch. You're always in that flipping Bradley Martin gym, hanging out and doing all those cool workouts. I've got this friend who also works out a bunch and is very serious about it. He wants to challenge you to a little friendly back and forth, similar to the ice bucket challenge or something along those kind of lines. Nothing that big. It's not that big of a deep. So it's not that deep of a deal, really, or that big of a deal, deep of a deal. What am I talking about? You'd think it was something that is kind of innocuous, but for whatever reason, Brendan didn't respond to it well enough at all. He didn't respond to it well in the slightest. But this is the original clip where Brian is in the gym with Nick Simmons and a few other people, and they're challenging Brendan Shaw to some dumbbell presses, seated dumbbell presses, right? So this is it, taken from the Instagram account of Brian, taken, of course, from the Final Kiss subreddit. Okay, we're in Fuel Gym in Coeur d'Alene. That's Chad Schmidt, who is the manager. We got Kevin Mack. We got Nick Simmons. All right, Brendan, you said that you, my lift is not impressive. You said you could do 120 pounds easy, and I'm not a body. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So 120 pounds. The last time I did dumbbell curls, right, was maybe a week ago. And the max, because my one of my elbows is a bit jammy, but I generally do mostly barbells so i don't usually do like dumbbells but the last time i did it the last time i did it right i was struggling with what was it was it like i think it was 10 kg dumbbell i was struggling with that right i was struggling with a 10 kg dumbbell on one hand like doing like you know those those ones and obviously you know curls the hammer ones whatever it may be right i was doing that in the gym i was struggling with 10 kg this guy does a. This guy does the equivalent. Let, let's see. I'm just typing this into my fucking um unit conversion. He does 120. He does 54 k. Oh, I can't. I can't imagine what a 54 kg dumbbell feels like on both hands. Try to press that upwards. That's fucking impressive. 
I'm struggling with 10. This guy does 50. Beast of a stuff. So again, it's just admirable just to see because again, he's obviously jacked to fuck, so clearly it's cool. But it's not something to get embarrassed about because you know, you if you work your way up to work, if you work your way up to lifting weights, you could do that too. It's not difficult to do. But when you start off lifting like I am, and you're doing only ten, when seeing someone doing fifty four, it's pretty impressive. Hey brother, I'm just a guy. Who to most people, it should be impressive. Likes fitness, so you should be able to outdo me easy. So I'm gonna do this weight, and let's see if you do it. Challenge on you. You have a couple of days to do it. Let's go. Challenge on you, Brandon Sharp. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm excited. Second attempt. Second attempt, babe. Here we go. Second attempt. Second attempt. One, two, let's go. And the thing that's impressive about his two from again being a a somewhat frequent gym goer myself you know more than three times a week sometimes six times a week is that he has impeccable form like he has really really good form for somebody lifting such heavy weight like he's not he's not really stressing as much or straining as much or wobbling as much or pivoting or shaking up he's really really strong like clearly somebody that even though he says he's a hobbyist and doesn't really take it he just does it for fun he clearly spends a lot of time in the gym this guy is fucking jacked Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. oh Okay, we're in fuel. So, if you saw that, any regular person will see that as just like a friendly jibe, a friendly bit of competition, just to kind of get you going, especially if you're an actual sports person, athlete, fitness head. It's just a that's just a nice kind of like um, you know, throwaway little challenge someone put towards you. Nothing that serious, not something to kind of get your niggas in a twist. But the interesting thing about it for me is that Brendan legitimately didn't respond to this at all. Like he saw this like as an as an affront, as an insult. And why do I say that as a front as an insult? Because look at this clip and look at his face. I got this here. As they put up as they pulled up the clip on the screen. Instantly, from minute one, his face is like that. Can you see that in the chat? You see that behind there? I'll move the little chat box away. But can you see that? Look at his face. Instantly, he's already like frowning and put in the little you know sad puppy like mm, man, i don't whatever he's not that impressive fuck him whatever he's not happy about it in slightest already the thing hasn't even played it he's already not look at it but then also notice bgl's face which is next to my face here on the screen and notice how quiet he is the entire time that brendan is hating on the guy just keep your eye on bgl because clearly bgl is impressed by that dude's strength and thinks he's pretty strong and clearly it's a funny little challenge and not really you're not really you know threatened by it in the slightest but brendan's f ego or whatever it may be just cannot handle the fact that brian might have a friend who's a comedian too who might be stronger than him like it, it, it's just insane let's just see I look great, attempt. don't I? Second attempt. Okay, so hey, pause it. Pause it. Here we go. Say, pause it. He put, like, he's shouting at Chin, number one. He's not, like, being funny. He's shouting at him. Hey, pause it. Pause it. You can't even say pause. Say pause. But yeah, he's not, he's not happy. I know what you're going to say. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Let me do this. You got wristbands on. You got wrist straps on. So, don't count. Hold on. Don't hold count. Hold on. Don't count. Look at BGL's face. He's not looking up once. Look at BJ's face. He's kind of embarrassed. His boss is jealous of a man he's never met because he happens to be able to press 120 pounds in each arm seated. That's it. Not that big of a deal. But clearly for Brendan, the jealousy, the inadequacy, the whatever it may be, is building up so much that he can't even, he's not even okay with just watching this and just keeping, he's not, he's not, he can't do it. The first time he didn't and he only did nine, this is a second attempt. And he goes, my wrist gave out. Do you have any wrist reps? Don't count. But he did this. Don't count. He did this nine Don't times. Don't count. Don't he, matter. Without wristbands. Don't matter. I've never seen that. Ho, ho, ho. Now, hold on. Don't count. He did it without wristbands. No, no, I only see wristbands. That's the second. This is him being, look, look, this is a serious face, too. This is a serious face. That's a man that's legitimate. Look at it. This is a serious, this is a man that's legitimately pissed and upset.
He's really pissed off and angry about it. Really angry. I tapped. No, it doesn't matter. It took two minutes. Doesn't matter. We have now, wristbands. Doesn't count. He, we, I can show you. I'm saying that I, now. I don't know what level of athletics, af, athletics he's done. Oh, you gotta love that little backhanded compliment, right? You gotta love that. I don't know what level. Uh, was it D three or four? Did he play in his college? Do you know what I mean that's a, it, it? You couldn't get more dismissive. And I love the fact that he's trying to be insulting, but he can't even say athleticism, athleticism, or athlete. Say it again. Let's let's rewind again. Let me hear him say it. Af athletics. He's done. Athlet af af athletics. What is it? Af athletics. He's done. Oh, he's just. Yeah, I can show you. Let's go again. I'm saying that I, now. I don't know what level athletics af athletics he's done, but at University of Colorado. Yeah. No wristbands. No no back belts. None of that. So University of Colorado is now the litmus test and the benchmark for strength look at brian's face by the way just look at brian look how embarrassed brian is that he's his friend and somebody he mentored has the inability to not take stuff as just a joke brian now is wondering like what's happened to you dude are you for real are you legitimately jealous and pissed off that this random dude who you didn't know existed yesterday is able to lift more than you like does that even matter like what <laughs> Look at his face. Brian's legitimately confused. And Brendan's here trying to convince Brian that he's a strength guy, he's a muscle guy, that he knows more, that he's not he's not impressive. You shouldn't be impressed by him. He's it's, it's basically uh his form of um what's what's that thing called? His form of hypnosis. Why are you why are you why are you impressed that somebody can lift one hundred pounds in each hand, you know, strict press seated? Why? Why would that be impressive? Well, he did count. this exactly Doesn't matter. without Doesn't matter. I don't see it. Two minutes before. I don't see it. <laughs> Come on, you got I don't be... believe you. What? See, now he starts to laugh, but he's not taking it seriously. Brian has to make a joke out of it to make him laugh and giggle. Before that, Brendan was not laughing. None of look, look at that face. That's not a laughing 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 face. And that's not a laughing face. He wasn't happy in And again, he did that thing that I always say. And I watch his, a lot of his videos. Whenever he's upset or pissed off, he does this thing where he kind of bites the bottom or the side of his cheek. That when he's kind of really, you know, trying to suppress his Chris Benoit rage, it's in there. That's that's where it is. But here, Brian, obviously the consumer adult, the actual dad in the room, right, is able to kind of diffuse the situation by trying to make a joke out of it. And then Brian kind of, and sorry, and then Brendan kind of loosens up a little bit. No wristbands. No, no back belts, none of that. Well, he don't did count. this exactly. Doesn't matter. Without doesn't matter. Pass. I don't see it. Two minutes before. I don't see it. <laughs> Come on, you got. I don't be... believe you. What? I don't believe you. You're call... You call me a liar? One hundred percent, dude. Yeah, sorry. That's an outrage. Yes. You can't just. You can't just dismiss it. Well, I see my wrist rant, wristbands. Let me see it. Let me see him do it first. And also, the funny thing is, at the end of this, was the challenge even accepted? Did he even agree to do it in the gym himself and do it? I don't think he did. Did he? Let's actually check the YouTube video and see it. But I don't think he actually even accepted the challenge of, of that he even set forth. It was just like, nah, you didn't do it properly. Let me see if I can find it on the clip. I think it's around 24, 25, there we go. It's 25 minutes. So it's around here, right? Let's see if he even, I don't think he even accepted the challenge. He just kind of didn't do anything. And BJ doesn't say a word the whole entire time because he obviously finds it somewhat impressive. So let's go back to the video itself and see. Did he even accept the challenge? I don't think he did. Let's go. Let's do it. doing it let's skip through the skip yeah, forward a bit like, no. okay okay there's another video to the other one no hold on, hold on. what they're going to be yes you can't just you can't just dismiss it well, i see my wrist rant, wristbands let me see it let me see him do it for a sec he has some yeah. shoulders on though he does he's got some hey skips leg day though huh no no he's got big legs. oh look at that look at that we just heard it look at that you couldn't even give the guy a compliment without insulting him you know what's funny as well because he always says that people hate on him without a reason and they hate us and he's never been a hater and he's always charming people it's like no actually you might be one of the biggest haters ever <laughs> legitimately and if you had the if you had, imagine if brenda was joe rogan what damage he could do to people's careers legitimately 
if he was Joe Rogan. Like, he would legitimately, like, he would hold a grudge. He would be petty. He would make your life a living hell. If he already was willing to threaten Bobby Lee with phone calls to Joe Rogan because Bobby Lee dared to be upset that he tried to fuck his missus, imagine what he would do if he was Joe Rogan. Imagine what he would do. And look at even this. He compliments his shoulders, but then immediately says he skips leg day. Like, oh, clearly he's not that straight. Like, he has some shoulders on, though. He does. He's got some. Hey, he skips leg day, though, huh? No, no, he's got big legs. Hater. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Push it. Five. Good. Hey, who's the guy going, push it? Yeah, push it. Good. It's a strength coach. It's a he even he's even hating on the people not on camera. He's hating on the guys behind the scenes. Oh my god, this guy is worse than Red Bar. He's worse than me. He's worse than anybody. He legitimately hates everyone that doesn't suck him off. Legitimately. Brian's got a new little toy boy that he's infatuated with, right? And clearly, let's look at the kid's Instagram account, right? He clearly looks after himself. He clearly looks like somebody people that people enjoy to be around. He's got his own YouTube channel, I think it looks like by the looks of it. Right? He posts his content online. He's got look at this, look at these cool before after pictures he, he takes. Clearly somebody that takes care of himself, eats well, promotes himself pretty decently online, you know, does you know the old bodybuilder fitness kind of content, got his clips running on his channel with all the things that you're meant to do when you're social you know, when you're promoting your social media by having flipping um, you know, subtitles and banners and stuff like that got his friends on there featuring people that are prominent in social like just a typical guy that you would imagine people would be nice to look he's even got brian Callan on his show to talk about stuff on there so clearly brian is brendan is either jealous that he's got a new boy toy or just jealous that he seems to be even though he does this only for fun and he's not trying to be an af athlete athletic af whatever he was saying athlete he just seems to be pretty cool so let's go back to the video. Good. Oh, this is his second attempt, but he did nine before this. Couldn't get it. That was eight? It was nine. Okay, we're in. Uh, now go back Go back to the other one. No, let, let oh, yeah, see let's Mark's. see Mark's now. Oh, there's Mark right see there. See what I mean? Mark's a little bit more. Oh, no, that's shoulder press, Bubba. 100% uh, that shoulder press. That looks like uh, incline. No, 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 no. Yeah, it looks no, no. a little bit like it. No, no that's is it the that's, same one? Don't be mad at, Am I wrong? at the angle that's of my the exact elbow. Same it's, okay. I'll explain right. because we're having no, this I believe pedantic you. debate over it. I'll explain. But no, that I makes sense. I actually, the, now that I look at it. I want you to be impressed by my sub 90 degree no, angle now, of my Now elbow. that I look at it, it's Don't what it be, looks like. You know, that's and then what my actually, shoulder, like my, my wonky shoulder goes out. I probably no, but I hear you. I see it. I see what you're saying. All I'm saying is. Okay, BGO did it at least, but let's see Brendan's video doing it, please. I'm not trying to defend like the. I will go back and do perfectly upright. No, the, that I, I, I get like it. I get it. The difference in implement. He has a higher back. I like to have the flexibility in my upper back, but that that tends to make you lean back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you fucking cunt! What are you talking about? Implement my inability to put the back back in the backpack. Like what? <laughs> Lift the weight and shut the fuck up, man. What's this guy fucking talking about? <laughs> my inability to put the back of the back of the lift the thing implementation like my word mate apps these are the kind of people that i ran away from when i when i went crossfit that's why i just go to regular gyms and do my own thing like when gym guys start talking to you <laughs> yeah he's got a legit rock hard boner underneath this isn't it watching these people watch his instagram like honestly this like look brendan even brendan's falling asleep look this guy's even asleep yeah, during freaking BGL's giving his freaking soliloquy on how he does shoulder presses in the gym. Bro, we've all got YouTube. We all know what shoulder presses look like. Like, these guys are fucking rabbiting on about fucking shoulder. Like, my elbow was what? Can we go back and hear him again? Go through that. He was legitimately excited to get on the mic and start talking about that shit. Let's hear him again. My, my, my. There's a lot of debate about this. Uh, I look at it, it's Don't what it be, looks like. You know, that's and then my action. shoulder, like my, my walkie shoulder goes out. <laughs> no, but I hear you. Of... I see it. <laughs> it's the one. Honestly, it's as simple as like the smile you saw on like, Brendan's wife when they went to the that funeral fit picture. She was legitimately happy to be outside. Like, yeah, I get to hang out with my husband. Like, we get to have fun. He's not on the road. We get to spend an actual day together. Like, just happy to be out. I know it's a bad circus, I'll be happy to be out. The glee in my man's voice when he gets on mic and he's actually gets a chance to talk about stuff that he's actually interested in. 
instead of topics that he's plucked from Twitter, he's like, yeah, let's go, Jim. My implementation on my elbow for the book. Oh. Let's do what you're saying. Well, all I'm saying is I'm not trying to defend like the, I will go back and do perfectly upright. No, the, that I, I, I get like it. I get it. The difference in implement. He has a higher back. I like. What's it? Uh, combo the wire says as a weightlifter using straps is cheating but brendan is acting like a fool with everything else and bgl creeps me out the 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 he definitely has skin in his closet gone but i agreed you i'm somebody i what what's my max at the moment I've, I've been doing for five reps my max back squat at the moment without a belt is what is it the barbell's 20 uh 20 pounds right and the uh, plates are 20 no the barbell is 20 kg the plates are 20 kg so it's 80 kg on the plates so it's tw like you know two sets of four on each and the barbell which is what is that 120 am i got my mass right 80 plus 20 is that 120 no it's not it's 100 isn't it so it's 100 kg <clears throat> so at the moment my uh back squat without a belt is 220 pounds right and I do that for five sets all the time when I go to the gym, right? All the time. Well, five set, five reps of three sets. I do that all the time. But I do know that people do use belts. It's fine, whatever it may be, cheating or not cheating. But the fact that I can still do that way is still impressive in its own right, in a weird way. It's not the best thing, but it's still, it's still pretty decent. What they're doing is just, you're just setting a little challenge. You're saying, hey, I did this. If you could beat the challenge, the, the way to respond to it would be like, okay, cool. I, I did, he did this with with wrist, with sorry, with um, wrist wraps. I'm just gonna do it without wrist wraps, without a warm up. I'm just gonna pull up in my car, jump into the, my friend's Bradley Martin's gym, get some 120 pound um, dumbbells. Don't even have people rack them up for me. I actually, pick them up from the ground and take them up on myself, and then do it, and then show people how real str really strong you are by able to do those straight away from jumping out of your car with no warm-up or no whatever and just kind of bang out six that would be the way to respond to it not sitting there and debating about the like, no one cares we all know what cheat we all know if you if you wear if you wear flipping weightlifting shoes if you wear belts if you wear straps that it's somewhat cheating because it allows you to kind of get more i would say talk right in terms of how you're basically lifting the weights it allows you to kind of keep your lumbar spine we all know we all know but the fact that he's responding to it, the way he's responding to it, just shows that he's more worried about picking holes in the guy singing because he's not going to do it and because he feels inadequate, as opposed to him basically wanting to prove that he's stronger. I like to have the flexibility in my upper back, but that, that tends to make you lean back a little bit. Okay, yeah. I also like doing behind the neck press because that you can't cheat, you know? Yeah. Like, so again, Nick's very strong, dude. Yeah, Nick's very strong. I'm proud of that lift. I'm he, didn't, he didn't even say it. BGL said Nick's a very strong dude, clearly. Brendan, he can't, even, he can't even give a compliment. God almighty, mate. This guy is a bigger hater than most people. He's a bigger hater than the entire subreddit. I remember that subreddit exists. Not comparatively strong, given how big I am, but... but I, think, I, think bench, I think bench is his big thing. The behind the neck is so hard on my shoulders. He tried yeah. on. Oh, I he thought this was an exercise like. one. That looks really, really good. You should buy it. Because it, it, should well, it frames your face. The <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> He hasn't even met the guy yet. Look at his face. He hasn't even met the guy in real life. And he fucking despises him. Because he just happens to live one more weight. Not because... It could be different if the guy was funnier than him or something and people were describing him as like the the the, you know, the likable version of Brendan. I don't know, or something. He legitimately just hates him off the strength that he's able to lift heavy weights. And he happens to be Brian Callan's friend. Like, new friend. Like, What? <laughs> it's fucking bizarre. I've never seen so much hate in my life in someone's face. Buckle yeah, buckle. The buckle doesn't fit so my chin. It, but it's buckle. only if you fly an outdoor plane. Only if you fly a plane. Outdoor plane? A plane. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And also, honestly, I, I'm stopping there. I'm not going to do any more. Imagine sitting down on your podcast and doing this. This is a podcast. They're watching some. The, the the levels of effort in this are just on the all time low, man. All time low. Yeah, exactly. Uche says that Shop has to have CTE. It's the only thing that makes sense of his behavior and general demeanor at this point. Maybe, or maybe it's just this is just always always been. But I, I can't or what he's always been like. I just still can't wrangle with it because I can't wrangle in my head the guy that I used to find funny, who I used to kind of root for, has turned into this person. It just doesn't make any sense. But I think this is a consequence of being successful also in a very short space of time and it being somewhat unwarranted success. 
that's what basically happened because I also feel like again like I, I always say this all the time but fucking Joey Diaz was right Joey Diaz I remember giving advice to Lee Sayat and basically telling him that I'm not going to bring you around all my friends I'm not going to have you opening for me all these shows so you can hang out with Bill Burr and Joe Rogan all these kind of guys you need to start from the bottom and basically find your own community by going to open mics and stuff and hanging out with those people at your level because if you start hanging out with me you're going to get the impression that you're at my level or that you're at the level of people that are around us and you're going to start thinking you're bigger than what you are or you know you're going to be, you know thinking your shits don't smell anymore and i think that's what happened to brendan the moment he got kind of brought into that inner circle, he started going to the upper the comedy store, even though he was only a couple of years into comedy, parking his car in the parking spots there, doing shows with them on like he just he was doing stuff that he shouldn't be doing at his level. So clearly his head got, you know, where it meant to go and you know, maybe the money also helped helped to it as well. But that might be the reason why, because it, it still kind of fucks with my head that the guy that I liked has turned into this dude. It's just I think usually they always you know have a sucky part about them if people that you don't like but you i don't think it usually goes from liking someone to going it's this feels like my version of flipping ethan klein this i i feel this i, I get sympathy with people who used to like h3 and then it turned into ethan klein being the person that he is now that's why you know what i mean it's just the kind of some parallels in there Ethan was somewhat likable. He was a real champion of YouTube. People used to kind of rally behind him. He used to be the someone promoting and kind of championing, you know, causes for like small creators and, you know, really sort of standing up to certain people that he thought were doing bad on the platform, whatever it may be. Then he turned into some weird, weird, weird guy now where he's sort of turning into this kind of vindictive, uh, you know, vicious social justice warrior guy who's always kind of um reading the worst intentions ever in everything what people do that he doesn't really kind of you know align with politically it's just a weird way of going about things man but what can you do man what can you do um i guess it just is a consequence of you know living that life i guess but it's unfortunate but yeah we have no idea whether he's going to accept the challenge is he going to do it yes or not i doubt it really 